y'all it's Julie and in today's vlog I want to talk a little bit about one way that we can start to understand how we rejuvenate ourselves and I just want to be clear from the beginning because this is one of the early ones is that just remember this is all coming from a mom's point of view this is coming from personal experience and with anything else any other advice um, take it as you will take what you like leave the rest and always please do feel free to contact somebody like a professional in the field if you want to delve a little bit further into finding some mental tools and tricks that work for you now that being said, um, I just want to say that one thing that I think is important in understanding how that we can kind of rejuvenate a little bit is in understanding if we are introverts or if we're extroverts or here's another term that you may not be as familiar with which is an ambivert and I kind of fall along the ambivert line and that's kind of like you can kind of float in between being extroverted and introverted and a lot of this comes down to you know where do you get your energy from um, as you know and you can probably guess a lot of extroverts get it from interacting with lots and lots of other people or just people in general and um, that's where they pull their energy um, introverts get it from some some quiet time some downtime and honestly being in crowds can overwhelm and can really tire them out and so when we come to thinking about how can we take care of ourselves it's important to know you know are we really introverts are we extroverts or are we a mix and the reason I bring this up is because for, for, for a long time for me personally I was surrounded by some extreme extroverts and I started doing things that I, I thought I was an extrovert but really I was just kind of following along and this we're talking about when I was growing up um, and it didn't take it took um, till I met my husband for him to really point out that some of my qualities um, are, are like like with a lot of writers I'm, I kind of live a lot inside of my head um, I don't mind talking to people sometimes I mean I get I get really excited when I meet readers and talk to them and that stuff just really rejuvenates me but at the same time I can also get overwhelmed and I find that I do need downtime whether it's reading time or if it's um, as you can see in my, my, my office here I also sew and some of, some of that kind of a time too so again you know find out you know you may be in a family full of extroverts and you're an introvert and there's nothing wrong with just being able to say one day hey you know I just want like give me 20 minutes of quiet just give me 20 minutes to read or, or whatever it is that you want to do maybe it's to go outside and go for a walk um, if you're an extrovert maybe it would be healthy to find um, clubs to join an activity where there's other people involved so find what works for you um, and it helps to again understand your type and I think that's one small step that you can take if you're trying to sort out you know what do I do for me and how do I take care of myself and that's just our one tip for today let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.